Hello, sir. My name is Richard Rios, and thank you for giving me the time to letting me present the performance measures for the widget manufacturing company. So, for question number one is, what is the cost per unit shipped for each of the warehouses? And highlight the warehouse with the best performance for 2018. So, what I basically did is I divided the warehouse cost and the units shipped to get the answer for the cost per units uh, shipped. And for the year 2018, the best location was San Antonio at ten dollars and eighty-one cents, and the worst, uh, excuse me, sorry, and the the best for twenty nineteen was uh, San Antonio as well for eleven dollars and fifty-six cents. And here's showing you the uh, work I did. For question number two is what is the difference in cost per unit for each of the warehouses, and make sure to highlight the best and worst. So for the uh, so the way I got this answer was actually subtracting, um, was using question number one and subtracting the 2018 and 2019 years um, to receive the actual increase in difference uh, and the, the difference in cost per unit, excuse me. So the increase for, or the best increase for 2018 would have been Denver at 0.92. And the worst would be New York at negative 0.77. And that would be for question number two. Number three is show the percentage difference in cost per unit for each of the warehouses. So what I did here is I used the percentage, uh, percentage difference formula shown here. And that actually gave me the percentage of a uh, difference in cost per unit for each of the warehouses. So um, the best location, best warehouse was Denver at 9.06% of an increase and New York showing at a 9.62%, a negative 9.62%, which was the worst location, worst warehouse in the uh, company. Question number three, uh, number four, excuse me, is um, to recommend a location to close down um, for its performances and not producing enough. And that question, uh, that location would be New York as the warehouse that has not produced enough of an increase or at least stayed the same uh, from the year prior. It actually decreased using the information that I, I used from question number one, number two, and number three to answer number four. And for question number five is using the income statement and, and balance sheet it to you wanted me to complete a SPM, which is a strategic profit model for the company to show. And here you can see the sales. You can see the sales and you can also see the cost of goods. Um, for the ROA, the return of assets, it would be 15.26%. And if you can see it that what, way better. It would be 15.26% and the asset turnover would be 113.53%. Um, also, the net profit margin would be 13.44%. Um, and that is the SPM model that I wanted to show. And for number question number six is what would have been the effect of the return of assets for 2019 if transportation costs had been reduced by 10%? So going off of the same SPM, you can see here you can see here the, the calculations that I got from decreasing in transportation costs by 10%. Um, using the SPM numbers, uh, or sorry, not the SPM numbers. This is the transportation cost. Which, would, uh, which is 658,562, multiply that by 10% to receive your new number of 65,856.2. Then going down the line, the increased net profit would be 532,008 plus the new uh, transportation cost, which is 65,856.2 which would equal 597,864.2. Uh, following down the line, the new net profit margin would be uh, dividing 
5.2 divided by 3,958,555. Uh, divide that, then multiply that by 100, and you receive 15.10% of the new net profit margin. And then getting your asset turnover rate ratio, it is 113.53%. And that's from this asset turnover. Going back, it is 113.53% for the asset turnover ratio. The new ROA would be 113.53% times 15.10%, which is the new net profit margin, 15.10%, which would equal 17.4, 14 Then you subtract that by 15.26%, uh, which that 15.26% is the ROA, the old ROA from the SPM. And that would equal 1.88%, which would be your new ROA. And that would be the conclusion of that presentation. Thank you, sir.